Exafine is officially shutting down. This is bad, chat. This is really fucking bad. But how? I have nothing now. Here we go, chat. Five hours ago. Dear players, important message. X Defiant is sunsetting. What? What? What do you mean? Thank you for your incredible support and dedication to X Defiant. We regret to inform you that we are initiating the sunset process starting today, December 3rd, 2024. As a result, new downloads, players registration, and purchases will no longer be available. Wow, that is crazy. Wait, so no, nobody could download Exafiant then? Wait, I don't have Exafiant downloaded. What? Season 3 will still launch. The servers will remain active and the game will fully will be fully playable until, until June 3rd, 2025. For those who purchase the Ultimate Founders Pack, you will receive a full refund. Players who made any purchases within the last 30 days will also be fully refunded. Oh shit, wait, hold on. Rip Exafine, dude. Oh my gosh. This is what low-key jump jump started my channel, bro. Before Exafine, I had nothing. I had nothing, chat. Below is a personal message from our executive producer, Mark Rubin. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Look at this. Boom. Holy shit, look how many Exafine posts. 400 views. Six views oiled up. Boom, 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 boom. Exafiant, Exafiant, Exafiant. Exafiant. Until present day. Oh my goodness, chat. Rips in the chat. Mark Rubin's words right here, chat. I am unfortunately here today to announce that Exafiant will be shutting down. Starting today, December 3rd, 2024, new downloads and player registrations will no longer be available. We will still release our Season 3 content in the near future, and the servers will remain active until June 3rd. If you can't download the game, what is the point of launching Season 3? I actually do not understand this, chat. I don't understand this. A few years ago, Ubisoft and the San Fernando dev team embarked a bold adventure to develop a new arcade shooter called Exafiant. What even is happening? Why is it shutting down? I have no idea. Hopefully he explains it here, but from the looks of it, 1.7 mil. I think just the game, nobody was playing the game. So they just, they just said, fuck this. And since BO6 launched, like, I think they got discouraged from BO6's launch or something. I don't know, dude. I'll bring it back more old school arcade shooter experience, but we were also diving into the high risk, high reward realm of free to play. From that, I want to applaud not only the dev team, but also Ubisoft leadership for taking that chance. By removing skill-based matchmaking, which was huge, BO6 struggles from this problem, but yet people shit talk exafine. Free to play in particular is a long journey. Many free to play games take a long time to find their footing and become profitable. It's a long journey that Ubisoft and the teams working on the game were prepared to make until very recently, but unfortunately the journey became too much. Sensibly continue. I am of course heartbroken to have to be writing this post. Yes, this game has been a personal passion for me for years, and yes, I know that not all challenges lead to victory, but I also want to recognize all the developers who are being affected by this closure. Respectful, non-toxic conversation between developers and players, and I hope I leave a positive mark on how game industries treat its players and community. Yeah man, no one looked at it as a normal shooter. Everyone looked at it as a COD killer. So I guess that's why people got uninterested. Exactly, dude. That is exactly what I've been saying and what I always thought. Because people labeled it as the COD killer, COD baby, COD whatever the fuck. It tinted Exafine's um, image because it didn't live up to the hype or whatever the fuck. Just went downhill. I can already tell sadly that Activision is rubbing their hands right now. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. I don't think the Exafine community will go to COD just because... The people who do play uh, X Defiant are people who are tired of COD. So I don't think they're going to go to that game. I think they're going to go to the finals. And maybe Loki, I'm saying this now. I think the finals is about to blow up. Since X Defiant is closing down, the finals is next. It's next up, like for the spotlight. For our players, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I want to express my deepest gratitude for the incredible community that has grown around X Defiant. Your passion, creativity, and dedication have inspired us every step of the way. With the utmost of love and respect, Mark. Damn, Chad. So I dedicated everything to this game. Rip X Defiance. Oh my goodness. These are my homies chats. My homies, bro. I met all these people on X Defiance. Katie, Zai, Matcha. You see, this is exactly what I'm saying, bro. This is why X Defiant had a toxic, toxic thing around their fucking game. 
because of fucking clickbait YouTubers, bro. This is exactly what I'm fucking saying, dude. It's so crazy because Exafine was actually starting to pick up pace gameplay wise. It was starting to release a bunch of new content. Season three was around the corner. Like, bro, what? Are new people even gonna try? I don't even think that they're letting new people try. So, yeah, man. I that is so dumb too. Why would they shut down downloads? At least let people try the game like on this dying moment. I actually don't understand why they are why they're doing that. Sell that. So many absolutely amazing videos, man, with X Defiant. I remember that one. I remember that one. Yep. Played with some content creators. That was absolutely. Amazing. Hey, I was in that one. I'm in that one, chat. I'm in this one. I got food right here. I could. I can't even eat my food, man. This is just like it's so sad. And to the development Damn. team, Mark Aches, all of y'all out there. Zai was dead ass on his grind, bro. Making this year long stretch, some of the best years of my life. If it wasn't for this game, I'm not sure what I would be doing with my content and with my channel in general. Hey, that is so real though. Like X Defiant, really like that's the game that I really like grinded for, like gameplay wise like content wise i mean if it wasn't for exit Pine, i would not do locktober oh my gosh that's crazy yeah without exit Pine, i wouldn't do locktober chat damn chat hey i'm in this one chat i'm in this one so with exit Pine, sadly shutting down i just want to thank the exit Pine community for also accepting me i wasn't in it for too long everybody supported me everybody did everything possible or to support me he was the first one ever to recognize me in game and tweet out, bro. Like you guys have no idea how much that means as a creator, as a small creator. Let's see if I can find the, the tweet. Oh my God. I posted so much. My whole Twitter was just about fucking X of Here it is chat. Oh no, it's not Ark. I'm so sorry. I fucking trolled Jared. Wait, I'm stupid. This whole time I thought it was fucking Ark. This guy, this is the first guy who ever recognized me in game. Holy shit, bro. Do you know how much this fucking means to me? I reposted it. Oh my goodness, chat. But yeah, I just want to say thank you to the Exafine community. Unfortunately, I don't have the game downloaded. I deleted it because I had a factory reset my PC. So looks like I won't be able to play the last few days of Exafine, sadly. Um, it really does suck because that game really started, kickstarted my channel. So I just want to say thank you. Hopefully you guys follow me through my YouTube journey. So if you guys want to see what I'm capable of, I just posted my first ever BO6 content and it's me playing zombies for the first time ever. So click on the video on screen right now. Yeah.